Good morning, my awesome, beautiful, wonderful, lovely, smart, intelligent, courageous, awesome, excited people. How are you this morning? I am so glad that you have chosen to join me today. We have five minutes of encouragement, five minutes of inspiration all together to have a better than good day. Good morning, y'all. I want to encourage you all today. I was thinking about Noah and I was thinking about how God spoke to Noah. God spoke to Noah and gave him these awesome, like, I guess what we would think outlandish and like, Lord, what? Instructions. And I could just imagine Noah is like, you know, him and God had a great relationship and God, uh, Noah pleased God. So, of course, Noah was in contact, constant contact with God and talking to him and knowing his ways and mirror, mirroring God back to God when God looked at Noah. You get what I'm saying? They was in good relationship. And I'm just thinking like God all of a sudden speaks to this man that he's in great relationship with and say, Noah, I want you to build something you have never seen before for something that rarely comes on the earth. So I could just imagine Noah probably like, okay, God, let me write this down. And I, I don't want to say that Noah had doubt in his heart only because he had a great relationship with God. And I believe they were in constant contact with one another. But even so, when God gives you instructions to build or to do and you're just like, hmm, okay, God. So that's what I want to encourage this morning is if God has told you to do something, if God has given you instructions to do something, to build something, to go somewhere, to start a ministry, and you know that it's God and you're, a, and you're pleasing God, do it. Do y'all see what Noah built? Like, y'all can read about Noah in Genesis, I think, chapters 6 through 10. Like, he made this big old, I mean, if y'all been to the ark that's over in Kentucky, that thing is huge. So, he couldn't do it by himself, but God gave him the instruction, and then he asked for help of other humans to help build this thing. And I could again imagine like they were probably like, God, I want you to do what? I know there had to be discouraging words, but Noah was like, nah, this is what God has told me to do. This is how he instructed me to do it. And I'm going to do it this exact way. And do y'all understand that God gave him these instructions to save his life? Oh my God. God gave Noah these instructions to do something to save his his life, not only his life, but his family's life, which is the next generation. So when God tells, this is good to me right now. So when God tells you to do something, when he's giving you instructions for another ministry, when he's giving you instructions to go and talk to someone or go testify to someone or go to pray to someone or maybe just even give somebody a hug and sing a song to, or, to them or whisper something to them. That is saving a life and generations behind them so the generations behind them won't have to experience and go through the things that your generation went through and the generation before you went through. So I encourage you this morning, if God has, I know that God has given you instructions and I know that God has told you to do something ministry wise and to serve the people, do what God say do. It don't matter what nobody else said. God said, do thus and so. So I am encouraging you to do thus and so. Write it down. Write down exactly what he told you to do. Noah uh, built the ark exactly how he told him to build it. Because if he didn't, the ark would have corrupted itself in the water and everybody would have died. Do you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm getting to? So please make sure God is going to give you the exact instructions to do whatever he wants you to do and it is going to be perfect if you follow everything that God tell you to do. So, do what God tell you to do. Get the ministry started, get the book started, get the talk started, 
get the show started, whatever. Do what God told you to do. Follow his instructions completely and you will save your life and the generations after. Come on out, reach out to me. Give me that great big old hug. I love y'all so much. God is so good. He's faithful. He never fails. He never forsake us. He loves us extremely. And I love you all too. Have a great Tuesday. Do what God say do. I'm telling you it's going to work out. <laughs>